Imagine encountering someone who appears charming on the surface but hides a bone-chilling secret within. What if I told you that uncovering their true intentions is within your grasp? Get ready for a riveting journey that will captivate you from start to finish as we unveil the secrets you need to know. In today's exploration, we dive deep into the unsettling reality that lurks in our daily interactions. We're unraveling the mystery of, don't get fooled, five signs. You're dealing with an evil person. This isn't about the occasional bad day or misunderstanding. It's about identifying those who thrive in the shadows of manipulation, deceit, and harm. If you've ever felt uneasy about someone's actions but couldn't quite pinpoint why, this discussion is for you. Join me as we equip ourselves with knowledge, turning intuition into insight. One. The Mask of Charm Imagine meeting someone who immediately captivates you with their charm and charisma. They're attentive, engaging, and seem genuinely interested in everything you have to say. This initial encounter can leave you feeling valued and special, a testament to the person's apparent kindness and sociability. However, beneath this captivating exterior may lie a more sinister reality. The Mask of Charm is often the first sign you're dealing with an evil person, a master manipulator skilled in the art of deception. Why is charm used as a mask? Charm is a tool, a means to an end for those with malevolent intentions it serves as a perfect cover, allowing them to draw others in, building a facade of trust and camaraderie. In this light, charm is not an expression of genuine affection, but a calculated strategy to win over, manipulate, and ultimately exploit. Recognizing the Mask the challenge lies in distinguishing between genuine charm and manipulative charisma. Pay attention to consistency. Is their interest in you sustained? Or does it wane once they have what they want? Observe how they treat others, especially when they think no one is watching. A truly charming person maintains their demeanor regardless of the audience. In contrast, an evil person's charm fades when they no longer need to impress or when their objectives are met. The Slip of the Mask Over time, the mask will slip, revealing the person's true intentions. This might manifest as a sudden disinterest in your needs, a shift towards more self-centered conversations, or even outright manipulation and deceit. The key is to trust your instincts. If something feels off, it likely is. Remember, a person's actions speak louder than their words. Consistent genuine kindness is never conditional, nor is it a strategy to gain leverage. Reflective questions. 1. Have you ever encountered someone whose charm later revealed a darker side? How did you recognize the change? Two. What defenses can you put in place to stop yourself from falling for superficial charm? Viewers, share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. In our next section, we'll explore the absence of empathy, another critical sign of dealing with an evil person. Stay tuned and remember, understanding these signs is the first step in protecting yourself from potential harm. Two. Absence of Empathy Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, is a cornerstone of human connection and compassion. It allows us to empathize with someone's joy or pain, creating bonds of understanding and care. However, a stark absence of empathy is a glaring sign you might be dealing with an evil person. 
a person who sees others not as individuals with feelings and rights, but as tools to be used for their ends. Understanding the absence of empathy. At its core, the absence of empathy is a failure to recognize and respect the emotional states of others. This deficit manifests in various troubling behaviors. Indifference to others' suffering, a lack of remorse for harmful actions, and an inability to genuinely celebrate someone else's successes. For the empathy deficient, the emotions and needs of others are either invisible or irrelevant. The impact of this absence. The ramifications of interacting with someone who lacks empathy are profound. Relationships become one-sided, with emotional needs being met only when they align with the manipulator's goals. Victims often feel misunderstood, undervalued, and isolated, as their emotional expressions are ignored or belittled. The absence of empathy in a person can create a dynamic where emotional abuse thrives, cloaked under the guise of tough love, indifference, or even hostility. Recognizing the signs. How can you identify someone with a significant lack of empathy? Look for patterns of behavior that dismiss or invalidate your feelings and those of others. Notice when someone consistently refuses to acknowledge the impact of their actions, especially when those actions cause harm. A telltale sign is a pattern of justifying cruel or hurtful behavior with excuses, or worse, blaming the victim for being too sensitive or overreacting. Strategies for Interaction Dealing with someone who lacks empathy requires strong boundaries and self-awareness. It's crucial to recognize that their inability to connect emotionally is not a reflection of your worth or the validity of your feelings. Seeking support from empathetic friends or professionals can provide the emotional understanding and validation that an empathy deficient person cannot offer. Reflective questions. One, reflect on a time when you felt someone didn't understand or care about your feelings. How did it affect your interaction with them? Two, what are some ways you can protect your emotional well being when dealing with someone who shows a significant lack of empathy? We'd love to hear your insights and strategies in the comments. In our journey to understand the traits of potentially malevolent individuals, the absence of empathy is a critical red flag. As we move forward, we'll explore another manipulative tool in their arsenal, mastery of manipulation. Stay with us as we continue to arm ourselves with knowledge and strategies to navigate these challenging interactions. Three, mastery of manipulation. Those with malicious intentions often practice the subtle, sneaky art of manipulation. It's a strategy designed to alter another's perception or behavior, not through honest persuasion, but through deceit, coercion, or exploitation. Recognizing manipulation when you're faced with it is crucial, as it's a key trait of individuals who can be considered evil in their relational dealings. The Nature of Manipulation Manipulation operates under the guise of normal interaction, making it particularly dangerous. It can take many forms. Guilt trips to coerce action, gaslighting to sow self-doubt, or feigned helplessness to elicit sympathy and assistance. The manipulator's goal is always the same, to sway you into serving their needs or desires, often at your expense. Recognizing manipulative behaviors. Identifying manipulation requires attention to both the overt and the subtle. 
Manipulators often employ emotional leverage, playing on feelings of sympathy or obligation to get what they want. They may also twist facts and situations to their advantage, portraying themselves as the victim or denying wrongdoing even when confronted with evidence. Another common tactic is inconsistency. Promising one thing and delivering another, or changing their stance based on what they stand to gain in the moment. The Impact of Being Manipulated The effects of manipulation can be deeply damaging. It can lead to self-doubt as victims question their perceptions and decisions. Relationships may suffer under the weight of mistrust and resentment as manipulative behavior erodes the foundation of honesty and mutual respect. Over time, the victim may feel drained, both emotionally and physically, as they navigate the constant demands and deceptions of the manipulator. Strategies to Counteract Manipulation Empowerment against manipulation starts with awareness. Recognizing the signs is the first step. The next is asserting boundaries. Communicate clearly and firmly what is acceptable and what isn't and stick to these boundaries even when pressured. Seek external perspectives when in doubt. Sometimes an outside view can clarify whether manipulation is occurring. Lastly, prioritize self-care and support from trusted individuals who affirm your reality and worth. Reflective questions. One. Can you recall a situation where you felt manipulated? What signs did you notice? And how did you respond? Two, what strategies can you develop to strengthen your resistance to manipulation and protect your autonomy? Share your experiences and strategies with the community in the comments section. Manipulation is a powerful tool in the arsenal of those with harmful intentions. By understanding and recognizing its signs, we can better protect ourselves and maintain the integrity of our relationships. As we continue our exploration of the signs of evil individuals, our next topic will delve into their need for control, another pivotal aspect of their behavior. 4. The Urge to Control The urge to control is a defining characteristic of individuals with malevolent intentions. This need for dominance over others' lives can manifest in various aspects, from dictating personal choices to imposing their will on others' actions and thoughts. Understanding and identifying this controlling behavior is crucial for maintaining one's autonomy and well-being in the face of such individuals. Understanding Control in Relationships Control in relationships often stems from the individual's deep-seated insecurities and fears. By exerting control over others, they seek to manage their own anxiety and uncertainty about the world around them. However, this behavior is both unhealthy and destructive as it undermines the independence and self-esteem of those on the receiving end. Signs of Controlling Behavior Controlling behavior can be overt or subtle. It might include dictating what you wear, who you spend time with, or how you spend your money. It might also appear as constant criticism making you feel inadequate and dependent. Controlling individuals often use emotional manipulation, such as guilt tripping or gaslighting, to enforce their will. They may isolate you from your support network, making it harder for you to resist their influence. The Impact of Being Controlled Living under someone's control can have profound psychological effects. It can lead to a loss of self-confidence, as you're constantly made to feel that your choices and desires are wrong or insignificant. 
Over time, you might find yourself becoming more dependent on the controller, doubting your ability to make decisions independently. This dynamic can trap you in a cycle of control and submission, which is challenging to break free from. Strategies to Counteract Control Breaking free from a controlling relationship involves reclaiming your autonomy. Start by recognizing the controlling behaviors and understanding that they're not about your inadequacy, but the controller's insecurities. Establish firm boundaries and communicate them clearly. Reconnect with your support network, seeking out friends and family who can offer perspective and support. In some cases, professional help from a therapist can provide the tools and understanding needed to extricate yourself from the situation and rebuild your sense of self. Reflective questions. One, have you ever felt controlled in a relationship? What signs helped you recognize the situation? Two, how can you strengthen your boundaries to protect yourself from controlling behavior in the future? Join the conversation by sharing your insights and tips in the comments below. Recognizing and addressing the urge to control someone is a significant step towards protecting your mental health and ensuring your relationships are based on respect and mutual support. As we move forward, our final discussion will focus on pathological lying, another critical sign of dealing with a person with evil intentions. 5. The Web of Lies Individuals with malign intentions exhibit the deeply disturbing trait of pathological lying. It goes beyond the occasional white lie. It's a pervasive pattern of dishonesty often used to manipulate, deceive, and maintain control over others. In this section, we'll unravel the intricate web of lies spun by those who may be considered evil in their intent. Understanding Pathological Lying A persistent urge to lie, even when there is no apparent reason to do so, characterizes pathological lying. These individuals weave intricate narratives, skillfully manipulating facts and emotions to serve their hidden agenda. Their lies are often convincing, making it challenging to discern truth from fiction. The Motivation Behind Lies The motivations behind pathological lying are varied. It can be an attempt to conceal wrongdoing, inflate one's self-image, or manipulate others for personal gain. By fabricating stories and facts, these individuals aim to create a false reality that suits their objectives. The lies may range from small, seemingly inconsequential details to grand, life-altering deceptions. Recognizing Pathological Liars Identifying a pathological liar can be complex because they are masters of deception. However, there are signs to watch for. They may constantly change their stories, contradict themselves, or offer vague, evasive answers when questioned. Over time, inconsistencies and discrepancies become apparent. Trust your instincts. If something doesn't add up or feels too good to be true, it likely is. The Impact of Pathological Lies Pathological lying can inflict significant harm. Victims often suffer emotional turmoil, confusion, and a pervasive sense of mistrust. Relationships deteriorate as the web of lies expands, eroding trust and intimacy. In the workplace, these individuals can create toxic environments where the truth is elusive and chaos reigns. Understanding the impact of pathological lying is crucial for protecting your well-being and maintaining healthy relationships. Strategies to Navigate Pathological Lies Dealing with a pathological liar requires a cautious approach. Maintain skepticism and verify information when possible. Keep records of conversations and interactions to track inconsistencies. 
Seek support from trusted individuals who can provide perspective and emotional validation. In extreme cases, it may be necessary to disengage from the relationship or seek professional guidance to protect your mental and emotional health. Reflective Questions 1. Have you ever encountered a pathological liar? What were the signs that led you to recognize their behavior? 2. How can you safeguard yourself from falling victim to the web of lies spun by someone with malevolent intentions? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments and let's learn from each other's wisdom. Pathological lying is a complex issue that can have profound effects on those who come into contact with it. By understanding this trait and its impact, we can better navigate such challenging interactions. As we conclude our exploration of the signs of dealing with evil individuals, remember that knowledge is your greatest ally in safeguarding your well-being and relationships. Conclusion in conclusion, recognizing the signs of dealing with individuals who may have malevolent intentions is crucial for personal well-being and building healthy relationships. By understanding and addressing traits such as charm masking darker motives, absence of empathy, mastery of manipulation, the urge to control, and the web of lies, we empower ourselves to protect our emotional and mental health. Through self-awareness, setting boundaries, seeking support and sharing knowledge, we can create a safer and more empathetic world, fostering healthier connections with others. Thank you for engaging in this discussion and taking steps toward a more informed and resilient future. Your engagement matters. If you found this discussion on recognizing and dealing with malevolent intentions valuable, take a moment to make a positive impact. If you found the insights provided here helpful and informative, click the like button to show your support. Share this discussion with your friends, family, and colleagues. Together, we can raise awareness and empower others to navigate complex relationships. Share your thoughts, experiences, or any additional insights related to this topic in the comments section. Your contributions can spark meaningful discussions and help others. Your participation not only benefits you, but also contributes to a more informed and empathetic community. Let's work together to foster healthier relationships and a safer, more understanding world.